Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Ton Lightning McQueen. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So during the Dynaco 400 at the Motor Speedway at the south of the 2005 Piston Cup season, again, Lightning was trying to dodge the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks and was able to get through easily by bouncing off of Claude Scruggs who was on the who was on the top of Todd Marcus and went flying through the air and sticking his tongue out and doing an air trick which surprised the race fans including Mia and Tia And I must admit, that air trick of his was very uh, um, outstanding. But what do you think? Was it very outstanding? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So that is it. Anyhow, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his tongue sticking out. And his eyebrows raised and... His headlight stickers with a number 95 on one of them and his bright red paint job. And on the hood we've got the Rusty's logo and the li lightning bolt stickers. And, and on the right left side we've got the number 95 on a yellow retro lightning bolt and the Rusty's logo and the gas cap and the exhaust pipes and the red rims on his black wall light year racing tires. And several contingent juicy sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Retread, Clutch Aid, and Leakless. And on the top we've got a number 95 in his name signature. No Rusties on the spoiler. I mean, why Mattel? Why would you release a ton version of Lightning McQueen without the Rusty's logo on the spoiler? So hopefully if this diecast gets released, hope if this if it ever get if this diecast get re-released, hopefully it'll have the Rusty's logo on the spoiler. So anyhow, on the back side we've got the taillight stickers with the 95 on one of them, Rusty's logo and the yellow rookie stripes saying with the slogan medicated bump ointment and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it so now let's compare them to the regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen here are some differences this McQueen is smiling while this one is sticking its tongue out both have the Rusty's logo, 95 on headlight stickers and lightning bolt stickers and 95 on 95 in name signature on the top. Rusty's on spoiler, no Rusty's on spoiler. 95 on yellow retro lightning bolt and Rusty's on the left side gas cap and Red rims on black wall light year racing tires, exhaust pipes, and contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitro Aid, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, No Stall, Vitaling, Gas Sprint, Gaskets, Easy Idle, Little Torquey Pistons, RPM, Leakless, Return, Clutch Aid. Both have. Both. Both have Rusty's and 95 on taillights and the yellow rookie stripes with the slogan medicated bump ointment on the back side. And that is it. And let's pull up some of the other versions of Lightning from the first Cars film. We've got the the finish line Lightning McQueen. Hmm. Hmm. 
Both have the tons sticking out. Both have the bright red paint job and the Rusty's logo and the lightning bolt stickers and the 95 with name signature on the top. Ninety-five on yellow retro lightning bolt, Rusty's logo, gas cap, and sponsor logo saying Piston Cup, Nitroid, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gas Sprint, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Retrade, Clutch Chain, Elite Clutch, Red Rims on the Black Wall Lightyear Racing Tires and the Exhaust Pipes, Rear Tires and no rear tires. Rusties on spoiler. No rusties on spoiler. On the back side, Rusties logo. 95 on taillight stickers and yellow rookie stripes with the slogan medicated bump ointment. And that is it. And now let's compare. And now for the other McQueens. We've got Dirt Track McQueen, Cactus McQueen, Dynaco McQueen, Cruisin' McQueen, and Radiator Springs McQueen. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which escapade of Lightning McQueen from the first Cars movie is your favorite? And should this diecast get a re-release with the Rusty's logo on the spoiler? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video in the description should I review next in the comments too. And I... Please consider viewing and subscribing to my channel. I would really, really, really very appreciate it very, very much. And I hope to see you all guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!